All right, guys, we have all our tools, various uh, items that are going to be necessary for what we're going to be working on today. Decided to use this uh, leftover Rock Auto box just so I can keep some of my tools and odds and ends a little bit more organized instead of just, you know, letting them slide all over the place. But um, everything's packed. Slide that stuff in there. Go ahead and close this guy up. All right, let's go to the junkyard. This is what I'm here for, guys. If you've been paying attention to my videos, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that hideous rust spot right around here. It's not just a spot, it's a hole. Here's our fender here. You can see, <laughs> you can see through this thing, okay? When I first bought the truck, this was just like a bubble. A few months later, it began to disintegrate, and this is what we have. So that's why I'm replacing the uh, fender. So I'm gonna snatch this uh, fender off of this R50 to make my R50 holding it. Guys, hack of the day. So there's a special tool that's required to remove the collar on this guy. So if you don't have it, grab a pair of your needle nose pliers here. And gently, when I say gently, I mean gently insert. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Gently insert and turn counterclockwise until that guy comes all the way off. Get it loose enough, it should now turn by hand. And the reason why we're having to remove this guy is because A, I don't need a replacement antenna, and B, this one is a powered antenna mass. And it looks to be fully functional. Um, can't really find these now that I think about it. I don't know, I might, I might buy it. I don't know, I have to see how much it costs first. But yeah, I don't want this because this is not good for the trail. <laughs> The trail is going to eat this thing alive. So I'll rather stick with the manual uh, antenna mask that I have. At least that one's rigid and more resilient. All in all, not a bad disassembly. Took me about 15 minutes. Here we have a 1999, aka 1999 and a half, R50 SE. Has the same wheels as our uh, Camper Dan but with uh, chrome center caps. And then over here we have a 2000 R50 and that's gonna be our donor vehicle for my fresh fender. <laughs> I'm just prowling, I'm trying to see what else I can grab while I'm here. You know, I'm thinking about getting this because mines that I have on my truck now, it's all like pitted and look at how clean this is just look at how clean that is i think that'll make my the back of my truck look so much better this also is a ser 52 i'm back i am so sorry i had to take a little bit of a quick intermission there to feed my beak uh golden crust patties golden crust beef patties spicy oh, so good I miss the golden crust there in New York, in my old neighborhood. All right, so right now we're gonna take off the chrome cap here. I think mine is gonna fight me. Mine is definitely gonna fight. It's not gonna come easy because where this truck has been you guys are going to be quite interested to know where this truck may have spent a number of its years. I plan on making a video about that and visiting said place. Can't tell you right now, but when it happens, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So along the way here, We've seen to encounter some resistance from our antenna mount here. Um, as you guys seen earlier in the video, 
there is a metal cap that goes here that has to be removed before you can remove the actual assembly from the fender. And it's giving us some pushback. So I went ahead and squirted a little bit of uh, liquid wrench in here. So this is gonna be our first bolt. This is a 10 millimeter. Yeah, truth be told, I expected some level of resistance, but not concerning the antenna, but we'll get him straightened out. Thank you guys for tagging me along. And having you right here in this position is great because I get to use you as a residual light source. <laughs> once again, you guys have the, uh, once again, you guys have the best view in the house. As I retrieve a bolt that I just dropped, let's not get that lost under there. I will stop. And I want to give a special shout out to all of our latest subscribers and everyone that's uh, been tagging along so far during our journey with uh, Camper Dan here, our R50 Pathfinder. I appreciate each and every one of you, all of the uh, views, the comments, the likes. I appreciate it all. Your subscription means the world to me. So thank you guys so very much. This was something that needed to come out too. Let me see. This guy right here. Yes, your side marker has to come off <laughs> for you to remove the fender. I'll put this up here in our planner. It's in plain sight. That way I don't lose track of it. Oh my gosh, you guys are watching me do this. Usually I have to like force things. Oh, if you guys hear music vibrating, it's my neighbor. Him and his buddies, they wrench on the weekends. It's a Friday night, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, they're right next door to our right there. Really, really nice people. They work on our Subarus and Hondas. And the occasional Nissan, too. The husband and wife, actually. They're both gearheads. Which I think is awesome. I'm still trying to convert my wife. <laughs> I think it's gonna take some more work. <laughs> ah, finally. And I didn't break anything. Yeah, guys, take your time and wiggle this thing out. For some reason, everything on my truck is like difficult to remove. When I'm at the junkyard, everything just comes apart like a piece of cake. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. Finally. There's another 10 right here. No, there's one down here. And now we're gonna start moving lower, but I wanna get everything that's high up. So that bolt that's in your view there, I'm gonna sneak in between the uh, door jam to get it, like so. But right now, all you wanna do is loosen that, well, for me anyway, because I don't want it to come completely free because I still have to work on this, the antenna mount there. But that's one. The next one is gonna be here, but it's facing the front of the vehicle. You actually have to get the splash guard out of the way to access it. So we're gonna start tackling the uh, splash guard now. We're gonna start with Mr. Mud Flap. We're gonna work our way up in a clockwise direction. I believe these two are also gonna be 10 millimeter. We can't get in there with an extension, so go ahead and move that guy. Oh my. And it broke. This is what I expected it to do. Not a big deal. I have extra um, hardware. 
I just hope that nothing else breaks concerning the fender being removed from the actual truck itself. The mud flap, not a big deal because I have spare parts. <laughs> uh, but you see, this is what I'm dealing with, guys. Yep, another garner. See, that's what I'm dealing with. Well, mud flap is all mostly removed. There's a screw right there. We gotta remove that guy, get him out. And I believe there is a 10 down here, right on this pinch well, where the uh, bottom of the fender connects also. Uh, mounting hardware here is gonna be a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Over here, for these two tabs, it's just gonna be your standard Phillips head uh, screw. Got our old friend, Mr. Stubby here. I can still count how many times I've used this fella. But he has his purposes. Hope my arm isn't in your way there. I'm trying to do my best to work on this and get you guys the footage that you deserve. Now we're going to go ahead and attack this guy here. Let me get at that guy right there. Look at the rust. Yeah, this thing got to go. So here we have my splash shield peel back and out of the way there's one uh, 10 millimeter bolt that will need to remove and I don't know if you guys can see that one right here right there where my fingers pointing to I have to sneak in there and get that guy unfortunately I won't be able to film this because it's just simply not enough room Stand by. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that rusty fella. Hopefully he cooperates. Now we're gonna be going in here. And yes, I know it's rusty. That's why we're replacing it. But uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get these two fellas removed, starting with our uh, fastener on the left. Needless to say, these fasteners were also rusty and they ended up breaking as well. I'm gonna take this support beam off. We are now finally ready to remove our fender. So we got our old fender off, now we're going to put our replacement fender on. We're just lowering this guy into place here. to say I had an issue with my original antenna mass this is a replacement from the junkyard the original I had to break it to get it off it's just nice to have a whole uh, fender in it once I wash the truck it'll look even better so we're gonna go ahead and set you guys up here and uh, we're gonna get our antenna mass put back in place so we never did uh, get the uh, head off of this guy. We ended up having to break the uh, plastic collar just to get it off of our old fender. 
So this antenna, from what I've learned today, this guy is our replacement. And there's a plug. This goes into the uh, cabin of the R50. And then there's a female end that you'll plug that into. We're going to go ahead and unplug our old one. And then we'll get our new one uh, plugged in. Just in case you were wondering. There is the uh, hole right there. Where the antenna uh, cable runs into the cabin of the truck. So we're just going to pull this guy out until it unplugs. So here's my... Uh, glove box. The reason why is because of where the antenna connection is. And I'm going to show you where it resides. Just in case you ever have to go through this personally, I just want you to know what's all involved. And yes, you probably will have to remove your glove box too. Here we go. Here is where our antenna female and male connections meet. Right here. Um, it took me a while to figure it out, but I just figured I'd do my due diligence before yanking on things because at the pick apart, I was able to just simply yank it out through the uh, fender well itself. But I figured I might as well do some reconnaissance to see where the connection is actually made so I know exactly what I'm getting into. So, again, this is behind your glove box. As you can see, here's the uh, blower motor. guys so the truck is now back together I have my antenna mud flap fender flare and fender I think it looks really really good like really good thanks for stopping by the camper dan files my name is Chris if you've enjoyed today's video please go ahead and smash that like button for me and while you're at it, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep using your Pathfinder as a Pathfinder, on or off the pavement.